Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be talking about the Leopard 2 tanks. These tanks are used in armies worldwide. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. The German Battle Tanks. The Leopard 2 tanks, and also their previous generation, the Leopard 1 tanks, are made for primarily for the German army. It started in West Germany with the Leopard 1 and now has evolved to Leopard 2 designed for the German army but exported worldwide which we'll get into in a later fact. It is no secret that the German army way back from the 17 1600s when it was Prussia or whatever you want to call it to what it is today have extensive experience in conducting combat on the ground. World War I saw the introduction of battle tanks and the technology for tanks has just been continuously evolving since then. And the Leopard 2 tank is no exception. It is one of the most advanced battle tanks in the world. Fact 2. Used worldwide. As I mentioned in the previous section, the Leopard 2 tanks was originally designed for the German army. However, it is exported worldwide in the map shown here with various countries having adopted for its primary use. These tanks are very advanced and a culmination of all the battle experiences that the German army has encountered through hundreds of years. And as a result, many other countries around the world like to leverage that experience and knowledge and use one of the most advanced tanks in the world. It is no secret that the German army knows what is necessary for a battle tank to be successful in the field. And therefore, they used all their knowledge and experience in developing this tank and have been also proven to be very successful worldwide with so many countries adopting it as its primary army battle tanks. Each country have also modified or designed the Leopard 2 tanks to fit their own needs. For example, some countries have adopted the Leopard 2 to be a more modern warfare in close combat situation, whereas other ones added small arms or other type of armor on top of it. Fact 3. Saudi Arabia Issues As I mentioned in the previous section, the Leopard 2 tank is exported worldwide, with the exception of Saudi Arabia. Because the Saudi Arabia has issues with the German government, mainly coming from the fact that Saudi Arabia has human rights issues in terms of not granting personal freedoms and political freedoms to its citizens, the German government has so far refused to export the Leopard 2 tank to Saudi Arabia. It is very interesting that Saudi Arabia so far is the only country that has attempted to purchase but has been unable to buy the Leopard 2 tanks. The German government even initially approved the deal but then cancelled it after the 2011 Bahraini uprising that the Saudi Arabia military intervened in. Because of all these issues that are unresolvable through negotiations and political actions, the Saudi Arabia military is unable to purchase or use the Leopard 2 tanks. Now let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. Composite Armor The Leopard 2 tank is special that it uses a lot of composite armor. In the old days of battle tanks, generally the armor is just very heavy, thick steel and uh, the Leopard 2 tanks has deviated from that to use composites to better arm itself against RPGs or other anti-tank missiles in order to protect its crew and as well as its regiment. The composite armor used in the Leopard 2 tank are made out of various materials such as ceramic, tungsten, or even hardened steel. The composite armor provides great protection against RPGs and other types of anti-tank missiles as well as 
modern warfare, urban combat situations such as IEDs and other type of mines. These arm composite armors are upgrades to the tank so that it could provide better protection for its soldiers inside the tanks. This is all leveraging German Army's years of combat experience. Now let's get into the next fact. Fact 5. The Rhine Metal 120mm gun. The main gun on the Leopard 2 tank is actually shared worldwide because it has been proven so useful and so powerful. Even the M1 Abrams that you see here on the screen uses the same exact Rhine Metal smoothbore gun in its turret. That's another point. It used to be that the main gun on the tank is rifled, meaning that inside the barrel there are grooves to help the projectile move about. But the Rhine Metal is different that it's a smooth bore, meaning that the whole barrel is a smooth surface. And as the German army have tested and proven worldwide, it is the better design for the tanks. And as a result, many different countries have adopted this same gun for their next generation tanks. For example, the British Challenger 2 tanks are also using the Rhine Metal 120mm gun, which has the smooth bore inside. As I mentioned earlier, all these technologies and improvements are the culmination of German Army's hundreds of years of battle experience. So it is no secret that other countries want to take advantage of this and use the best and latest technology to arm their own armies and ensure success in the battlefield. The Rhine Metal 122mm gun will just continue to power all the latest next generation modern tanks. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.